Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video with me, the Hoodie Gamer, and in today's video I will be teaching you guys how to make a mascot logo on Photoshop if you haven't made one before or if you're getting into Photoshop or anything like that. I do want to make a small disclaimer that I'm not the best graphic designer, but I know my way around Photoshop, sort of minimise and stuff like that. I'm still learning it every day, so you know. Hopefully you guys will learn something from this video and hopefully you might be create something awesome for your channel or whatever you want to use it for. So if you do like today's video and it helps you out loads, I really would pre appreciate a like on the video. Let's try and hit 10 likes on this video. And also if you're only around here, go ahead and smash that like button. I'd be very much appreciated. But without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop. Okay guys, now we are on Photoshop. The first thing you want to do is open up a new file. You want to go new. I know we put it down to uh, 1280 by 720 at 782 resolution, pixels, 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 inch. If you guys want to pause the screen at any time just to sort of catch up if I'm going too fast, you go ahead and feel free to do that. And then you just want to click OK and it'll make you a simple workspace. So what you want to do now is sort of get like a, a rough idea of what you want to make. I've got one here. We're going to be doing a wolf mascot. We're going to be pretty much copying this, maybe changing up the colors to make it brown and stuff like that. But I'm just doing this for, uh, I mean, I didn't I didn't make this mascot. I've just got a lot of Google. What you want to do is get some preferences and then just sort of make it to your uh, to your own. But if you are just starting out you, uh, on a Photoshop, this is how I would do it. What you want to do is get a simple thing like that, a simple thing, as you can see, there's loads there. I've literally just copied that and up to there. If, okay, guys, once you've dropped your image into the new workspace, what you're going to do is press Control and A and click on these buttons here and it will center the picture. If you haven't got it like that, just press Control and then just drag it down with your mouse until you're where you want it. Yeah, you might have some space in the background, but I'm going to put mine just there. Okay, so what the next thing to do is make a new uh, layer. So you want to click that, come down here, click on this little icon here, which is like a page turning over. Click on that and you will get a simple plain layer. So what I normally like to do, even though this has all got a white background, is basically make a completely white layer. So press con shortcut on your keyboard, press G. And press the color white down here. If it isn't, if it's like that, just press X and it will change it for you to the foreground color and then the background color, which is white. So I'm just going to put white. Simple, it's just gone over that mascot layer. So, what I normally like to do now is turn down the opacity just enough so you can see the picture and stuff like that. This will help you a lot when you use the pen tool to go around the picture and stuff like that. The image, so I'm going to put this. So, so, as we've got that down to 55% opacity, is what I normally put it down to. You want to make a new layer, you press uh, this button here, the little arrows, or press D on your keyboard for a shortcut, and then press P for the pen tool and pick a starting point. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to style it here. And to get a straight line, you want to hold um, Shift and then it click there, and you'll get a perfect straight line. And then here is where it gets a bit complicated to go around here. So what I like to do is just sort of click here, and then click again so we're on the line, and just sort of oh god, click on the line and just simply just drag it over like that, just to sort of roughly get it on the idea. You can move in, so zoom in, it helps you out loads. So click on this to drag it up to get the perfect curve you want. I'm gonna just quickly adjust this. I'm probably gonna move this up here like that, and then there, that's roughly all it is. And like I said, it's not gonna be perfect because I'm making a tutorial for you guys. But if it was taking my time, it was this would take me about two to three hours. Obviously, this video is chopped up, so if you guys are wondering why, it's probably like a 10 15 minute video, that would be why. So, yet again, once you click down here, you want to press control, click the dot, and then just bring it out following the outline. What I would do for you guys is quickly speed this up until I've done the complete outline. As you can see. We, I am going to be doing this whole dark colour around the outside. So if you just watch carefully, I won't speed it up too fast. And then you'll see what I mean when I'm done. Okay guys, as we're coming near to the end now, I'm just going to slow down, come into normal time and show you the finishing thing, what I like to do. So yet again, make the curvature, come around here. For the last bit, what you want to press is right click on your mouse, click add anchor point and you'll get that simply just pop up like that. And then you just want to get, put that there and get this line here and just sort of just drag it up just to get that nice little 
curvature. So now once you've done that and you've got your outline, what you want to do now is press right click on your mouse, make a selection. As you know, right click on your mouse, fill path, and choose it. I mean, for me, I'm going to choose black, so black down here, and then just press OK, and you will get a simple black outline. Now to get rid of this path, as you see here, simply just right click and delete path, and there you go. You've got a you've got a simple black thing. So what? Yeah, what again? I like to do now is just sort of drop the uh, opacity just down to sort of where you can see the image from underneath. Obviously, you've got the white one still. You can take that one, but I like to keep that away because as you see, it still gives it a nice effect. So now what you want to do it yet again is go around the inner bit, which is this bit here. Go like all these around here, around this bit, making the ears, and then that, and then you make that as a layer. So you, you, you put in layers on top of layers to layers to make the image where you could just go around the whole thing. There's, lo there's loads of ways to do it, but this is how I like to do it. So yet again, come down to the bottom right -hand corner, click on that page, click your pen tool, and then just pick a starting point and go around. But obviously, take do take your time when you're doing this. So like I said, I'm rushing this to make a video for, to show you guys how to do it if you're starting out in, on Photoshop. Um, me, like I said, I'm not a professional. I'm, I, I do this as a little hobby. And I know my channel sort of been gaming, but I wanted to bring some Photoshop just to help you guys out if you're starting YouTube, you know. you got to start. you got to start somewhere. And that's where I, I, I like to bring. I mean, I might bring like a, a Photoshop series. If you guys want me to do that, let me know. If you're getting into Photoshop, I knew the Photoshop. Like I said, I, I'm still learning new features every single day, which is, a, which, is, which is absolutely awesome about Photoshop. You can learn so much every single day, especially with my video, my video editings as well. Let me get that there. Sweet. Oh, God, drag up. There we go. Just get a little curvature just for his little forehead. Uh, if, you, if you do make a mistake like that, just press Control Alt and Z or Z wherever you are in the world and how you want to pronounce it, and then just drag it up. There you go. You've, you've corrected it. This bit here got a little curvature yet again. Control Z just to make, just to raise it. What the mistakes you made, you would just want to completely just do that like that. Okay, for some reason it didn't add in my anchor point, so we're just gonna make that there like that. A nice little arrow sort of a point in there. Come around there. Like I said, you just want to follow the curvature the best you can. I do advise this really practice. Practice, practice makes perfect for doing logos and stuff like that. And me personally, I'm better at making banners. Um, if you guys have not seen any more work, go over to Twitter and you'll probably see some of my, my banners, what I've done, or obviously you've seen the Fortnite videos. So that, that that's sort of my work. I'm, I, I quite like banners instead of logos because I find logos hard to do. Like I said though, just trace it around. It's not hard. it's not that hard once you get into it. It doesn't have to be perfect on the line. As you can see here, I'm actually matching up the line because obviously I'm making it my own. And I'm like I keep saying I'm just simply just doing this roughly just to show you guys. But say if I was doing this for like a paid person, I would be definitely taking my time. And like I normally do take my time on banners and stuff like that. But for you guys, like I, I keep saying, I keep repeating myself. I need to stop. I really need to stop. So like here. You want to pick a point where the curvature ends, and then just simply just drag there. Same again here. Pick it over there, drag it, and you you roughly get it. And then you just drag that like that, just to get sort of the, the shape you want. So I'm just going to do it here. As you can see, it's slowly it's slowly coming. It's slowly making shape, which is what we want, you know. Uh, I do want to point out. I do apologise. I haven't really uploaded in a while. I've just been sort of struggling with some video ideas and some mental health problems, but I'm, I'm back on track. Don't worry, I'm safe. I'm not going anywhere. I'm, I've not quit YouTube, if that's what you guys are wondering. I'm just going to do a little quick shortcut, see if I can just get that in, f in one, and then just sort of extend that. Yeah, that would do it. That would do it. I'll, I'll set up for that. Okie dokie. And then we oh, God, I messed it up. Yep, that one there. There we go. Drop that in like that. Then we're going to come right all the way down here. Click it there. I mean, the one thing what you could do is do half of it and then just copy and paste it. But I like doing it as a one complete layer. Oh, God, what have I done here? There we go. See, I made a mistake. I just press Control Z and you'll easily undo the mistake you did. So. I'm just going to finish off this with a time lapse and then I'll get back to you guys once I've finished the outline which we're, we're almost complete. 
So I will talk to you guys in a minute. Okay guys, now we've got that over that layer sorted, we're going to do a right click on the mouse, you want to put a fill path, and then you want to go for a colour. So for me, I like going for sort of, I mean, a brownish colour, which is sort of down here. Because um, wolves, I mean, wolves, you can get wolves in all sorts of colours. So if you want to use the colours what I'm using, just basically just pause the video and see what you like. Let's just try that colour. I mean, that's sort of not brown. So as you can see, it is a brown, but we want, we want like a darker brown. So you can easily just simply click here, click on this bit, and then you want to make it a little bit darker. So let's go for that kind of brown. Or we could just go for a grey wolf. Um, yeah, let's, let's go for a grey wolf. Okay, as you see, we've got black, we've got grey, so now we need to add on the extra feature. So on top of this layer, yet again, make another layer. We're going to add in the white to give it some depth. We are going to be putting in these details as well. So let's start off with the white layer. So yet again, you just want to make, or oh, make sure you delete the path as well. So you want to click on the delete path and then you've got a completely fresh workpiece. So now we're going to start on the white. We're going to work with the teeth like this. I might make this a two-part a two part video. So once we've done that, we're just going to go around with the white, making the inner the inner layer, sort of to give it the picture some depth and some colour. I mean, I can't remember what colour this was. I think this was a grey wolf as well. I was going to go for a brown wolf, but I think grey wolves look way better for a logo, mascot logo. But it all depends on what you guys want, you know. It's all, it all depends on your colour scheme, really. That's literally all it is down to. Just click on there. See, so look, for this one here, I'm pretty sure we can just do what I said a minute ago. We can just do half of this one. I'm just going to cut some pieces out because I'm just going to save some time. So we're going to do the nose bit. Actually, we're going to come back here and then we're going to click here. And then now we're going to come around to make the curve. Click here. Down we go. Let's put it up there like that and then just pull this one out. Yep, I'll go with that one. And then we're going to come around to here. Click here. Simply just drag over, make line it up as best as you as best you can. Okay, yet again, I completely forgot this is the last one. So you want to right click, add anchor point, and just drag it over, line it up, and then you want to click right click, fill path, click on that little drop down bar, click white, press OK, and then it will fill in white. Delete the path. So now you want to do here is you want to press Control and J, so you'll have another one like that. And then you want to press control, uh, control and T, right click and flip horizontal. Control, hold uh, shift and then drag over. And you want to try and line it up as best you can. This is sort of like a cheating way to do it. And once you've done that, just press enter and that will be it. You've got two layers here. So you've got one layer there, it perfectly lines up. And then you've got one layer here. So what you could do now if you wanted to, you can actually merge these. So you, what you do is click on one, press control, hold control and click on the other. Control and then E and then you've got them both as a layer. So as you see, we've got the grey, we've got the black, the grey and the white, which is absolutely awesome. So like I keep saying, we're doing it in layers. So I'm going to delete that one. So now we're going to go for the eyes. We're going to put in the eyes. So yet again, make a new layer, go to the pen tool, delete the path if there is one. I don't think there is one though, because obviously we did it before. So you want to zoom in for these for this like when you need to just zoom in. So we're just gonna do the eyes roughly. Drag that down like that. Simple. I mean it's, as you can see here guys, it's really, really simple and easy to do once you get started. And that's it. You you could take you could make anything. Once you get practicing you can make any kind of mascot. I mean it's pretty easy. So yet again we're gonna go fill, we're gonna click it to change it to black. Click OK, and we've got one eye, so right click, delete path. And yet again, we can just press Control, hold Control and J, and then Control and T, right click, hit, flip, horizontal, hold Shift, drag across, and then we're going to match up the eyes perfectly. Enter, click on that one, click on that one with a Control and click, Control and E, and we've got our eyes made. Look at that, it's pretty pretty simple. So we're just gonna put all the layers on, and as you can see, it's coming apart. Obviously, we're missing the mouth, but we'll add that in and stuff like that. So now we're gonna move on to, what should we move on to? Let's have a look. 
We've done the face, we've done the white bit, eyes. Let's work on the mouth. Let's do the mouth just to make it some depth. So what we're gonna do is make a new layer, which is really important. Make sure the way I do it is layers. So what I'm gonna do is the mouth for the first part and then I'll bring out the second part really, really soon, guys. So yet again, it's just simple. Dragging it over like that, making the teeth curve. Because obviously wolf's teeth are not exactly the bluntest teeth they've got. So there's that one. So now we're going to make a new one here. Make sure you join it up though. And then this one here is literally just simple. You can just make little triangle jagged. If that's what, if that's what you want to call it. Just to make the teeth. Join that one. And then this one here again. Okay, let's go up to the top one. Make it curvy. Make it nice and make it look nice and pointy and sharp. And you want to right click, fill, change it to white. And there you go. You got your teeth. You got your first set of teeth. So now you want to move down to the bottom. So this one's pretty easy. You click here, click here, click in the middle as possible as you can, and then click in the middle here. Curve it down. Click here. Right click. Add anchor point. And let's finish it off. Finish it off. Right click, fill, white. Boom, there's your second lot. And then now we're going to do this one. Remember, you're going to make these curvy. I mean, we could even like that. But I'm going to make it curvy. So there's one. So now we're going to do this one here. I could just bring it like that. There, like that. And then bring this one. Try and make this one as pointy and sh looking sharp as I can. So not like that. And then we're gonna go these ones. These are gonna be like little triangles. So what I what I would do for this one is zoom in. So sort of like that, and then just 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 try and guess, you know, as best you can. Once we do this, there, come down to there. Simple again. Right click. Like I said, it's pretty. It's, some of it is just the same. And there we go. We've got our teeth. So if we put on all the layers so far, as you guys. We are coming there. So I'm gonna leave this as part one, as basically the outlining. We are gonna add in the tongue in the next in the next one, and then I'm gonna show you some uh, shadowing and stuff like that we can do. So if you guys have enjoyed this video so far for part one, and you're excited for part two, go ahead and let me know. And also drop a like, drop a sub if you did enjoy it as well, and I'll see you in part two. But until then, guys, as always, have a great day, no wherever you are in the world. Stay awesome. <laughs>